In this month's episode of Our Land, we hear what engineers at the Albuquerque Metropolitan Arroyo Flood Control Authority are doing to slow down and clean stormwater before it reaches the Rio Grande. For them, it's a much different way to think about flood control. They're also working with other agencies to figure out how to clean previously unusable storm runoff for irrigation and to boost aquifer levels. Here's NMIF environmental correspondent Laura Paskus. This spring, or during a summer monsoon storm, you've probably seen floodwaters ripping down the North Diversion Channel. That's the huge concrete channel that runs near Interstate 40. The Albuquerque Metropolitan Arroyo Flood Control Authority, or AMAFCA, is the agency in charge of it. That's kind of the embarrassing thing when you know you say, I'm a MAFCA, and they're saying, who is a MAFCA? It's like, well, we do the tumbleweed snowman. That's Jerry Lovato, a MAFCA's executive engineer. And the snowman's just for fun. A MAFCA's real job is to protect the city from flooding. When a MAFCA was created in 1963, the idea was to protect life and property, because that's our mission, but to do it as quickly and efficiently as possible. So it was basically grab the water, divert it, and get it to the river as quickly as you can. So that worked out really, really well until about the mid-1980s. When stormwater moves through a city, it carries trash and sediment. It also picks up things like oils and gasoline, PCBs and pesticides, which caught the attention of water quality regulators. They told Amafka it needed to clean the water before discharging it into the Rio Grande, and that meant slowing the water down. Water is moving extremely fast, so when water's passing you by at 30 feet per second, it's very hard to try to clean it before it gets to the river. So we were trying to slow it down or take it offline. At the same time that Amafka was trying to meet federal water quality standards, it hit a bump under state law and the law that governs how the waters of the Rio Grande are shared. Amafka couldn't hold on to the water for more than 96 hours. They couldn't let the water just pour into the river, but without a right to the water, they had to keep it moving. Since 2012, we have been able to hold that water in a series of projects. So instead of just holding it in one spot, we now hold it in one spot and then go downstream, hold it again, and go downstream again to hold that water to try to clean it and run it through bioswales and some other facilities just to clean that water. Over time, engineers have had to change the way they think about storm water. So our story takes us here to the South Valley and Raven Pond. Well, I'm standing basically in the middle of Raven Pond, and it's really a, a gorgeous refuge in the middle of the city for um, not only stormwater and stormwater quality, but it's also a great place for birds and wildlife. Nolan Bennett is a field engineer with AMAFCA. He says they work on low impact designs when and where that's possible. I, right next to us, there's tens of thousands of tadpoles in our little drain um, channels that we have in this facility. And soon the egrets will be out eating all these little frogs. And, and it's, a, it's a great thing to watch. About four years old, this facility has taken some work. Previously, it was farmland. Now there's a walking trail. And Amafka has tried to make sure that the smell of algae in the water doesn't bother neighbors. The windmill here is used to aerate the stream. We've also used um, plants and willows that have come out of this facility to plant on our other facilities. The willows, they're great to look at, they provide habitat, but it also allows us to catch trash and other um, debris coming into our facilities. The North Diversion Channel, for instance, drains about 100 square miles of the, the city of Albuquerque. And when you have that amount of material coming down um, at various locations throughout our system, we use those willows to, to trap trash and debris. Instead of seeing stormwater as a nuisance, it can be a resource. Ideally, it could be slowed and cleaned and used in irrigation canals or the Flood Control Agency and the Drinking Water Authority can work together to let water percolate into the ground and help restore aquifer levels. And when it comes to stormwater, there are things we can all do to make sure it's as clean as it can be. We collect couches, wedding dresses, dead carcasses, construction debris, all kinds of stuff gets thrown into channels because it's a way people just get rid of things. It would really help us if they would take a few seconds and think about where they're dumping their materials because it will end up in the river. 
Storm water is unpredictable. You don't always know when storms will come or how much rain they'll bring. But one thing is certain. While everything around Albuquerque seems to be moving faster, flood control experts say there's a lot of water to be gained by taking it slow. For New Mexico in Focus and Our Land, I'm Laura Paskus.